in a border village, then you have 15 seconds to rush to a shelter and to go to safety. If you're in Jerusalem, which is uh, 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 away from, uh, from the border, then you have a uh, one minute and 42 seconds. So this is how they've mapped the entire country and people's access to shelters like these. Residential, communal and institutional shelters can differ quite a bit. Every residence must have a shelter or security room. They usually have reinforced concrete walls and ceilings. The floors should be 20 to 30 centimeters thick. The doors made of steel. Windows, if any, should be shatterproof. The safe rooms are to protect against a variety of assaults, rockets, shrapnel, gunfire and even chemical attacks. Even the smaller residential shelters should be able to withstand all of these attacks. However, communal and institutional shelters are usually better for defence. That's why many people have chosen to live in the bigger shelters since Saturday. We are staying here in shelter for a few days from Saturday and we are sleeping here with the kids, the families here. We are all in a big anxiety, so we are staying here and hoping for the best. The communal and institutional shelters are also located at key junctions. Places where people can get to within seconds. The public shelters are better equipped than the residential ones. The goal of a residential shelter is to weather out a small, sudden attack. They aren't meant for long-term refuge. Many don't have toilets and rations are limited. Communal and institutional shelters are more suited for longer sanctuary. This one is a public shelter. It is very well equipped, as you can see. Uh, there is proper air conditioning. This is a big AC. Uh, this is uh, uh, some uh, equipment uh, that we are told uh, that purifies the air in the event of a chemical attack. Uh, and if too many people are gathered here, the capacity of the shelter, we are told, is 200 people. So when all these people are here underground, then you need air purification and they have a mechanism for that. Uh, they also have a, a, a Wi-Fi installed here, an emergency light, so all the basic necessities are taken care of. And this is the, the second floor of the shelter. Above this, you have public utilities, you have washrooms. So people can come here uh, and this is a residential area. Uh, 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 this is underneath a school, we understand. So a lot of people living here, this is in central Tel Aviv, and shelters like these, at least 240 such shelters have been built in this city alone. The 240 shelters in Tel Aviv have seen high footfalls this week. They've also seen a spirit of defiance and of hope.